Hi, and welcome to this section of the Physics Tutor where we're going to talk about topics that you've probably heard about. We're going to define them in detail and work a few problems. And uh, the topics that we're going to start to talk about today are density and pressure. And again, these are terms that are used in everyday life. Uh, different people probably have different meanings, uh, but we're going to define them here today and we're going to be specific about our definitions here. So the concept of density is the first thing I want to talk about here. Ask yourself, what do you think that means? In typical everyday conversation, when someone's dense, it generally means they're hard to understand, maybe they're a little bit nerdy, maybe they're not exactly the most social person in the world, they're dense, okay? Uh, density in, uh, in physics basically is a description of how compacted something is. So if you know the mass of an object, I mean, I can have the mass of, a, of, a, of an object, uh, of a bowling ball, right? And it would have a mass, 50 kilograms, okay? And I could have that in the, in the size of a, uh, of a uh, bowling ball. I could also have that 50 kilograms distributed over a giant sphere, maybe the, the size of a house, okay? And um, although those two balls would have the same mass, if the, if the ball were the size of the house and, the, and then another one the size of a, of a bowling ball, although they, they would have the same mass, they would have a different density because the difference between those two cases is the volume. So density is a measure of the mass of the object compared to its volume. So it's basically measuring how compacted something is together, how tightly packed is the mass in the, uh, in the volume there. So. Um, as I said, we're going to start to talk about density and pressure, okay, in this section. And uh, the density, the symbol for density looks a little bit like a P, um, but you kind of start out like this and kind of go down and give yourself a little tail. And that's the Greek letter rho, okay. And uh, the density of an object is equal to the mass of that object in kilograms divided by the volume of that object, okay? So as we said, it's a measure of the mass of an object compared to its volume. We just take the, the ratio of these two guys and that gives us a density. Um, so in words, it's the mass per unit volume, okay? And um, it basically measures how compacted something is. So something that would have a high density, okay, something that would have a high density would have a very large number for its density, right? And that means one of two things. Either the mass of the object is very, very great, okay, over a pretty small volume, or it just means that the volume of the object is, is really, really small. So five kilograms concentrated over the size of an atom would be a very high density. Likewise, you know, the, si the mass of a bulldozer compacted over the volume of, 